Hi. Hello guys, welcome back to the video, welcome back to the channel. Hello, we guys are on this. Uh, didn't we have video do um, today? Um, so, it's going to be a normal chair session. Um, I've, done, I've added a few more different things in my chair session, so I'll probably I'll talk over them, voice over. Still don't have the mic yet, I'm waiting for it to be dark, because uh, of the Royal Mail striking, it didn't come in time for Christmas songs, so I'm waiting for that. So, yes, yeah, you'll have to stick to voice for a while. Yeah, not for probably hopefully not for a while anyways. So we're gonna I might get a little tripod for part my phone as well I'll uh, try and I can't really show you is it. But um yeah so just probably normal chair session, start off a bench, uh chest press, decline flyers, decline press, um like dumbbell press, not uh, uh, barbell. So incline um, dumbbell press, uh, and then finish off with cables with some new seat and stuff that I've added in that talk over. This could be a bit of a it's a fast paced session. Um, I'm gonna try and edit it down to a quick, like, little montage or everything with some voice over stuff that's it. Really training with um, Pewee as always, and uh, my pal and Pewee's pal, well, Pewee's cousin, uh, Liam, uh, another lad. So, I might, uh, I'm gonna put some of his stuff in as well. Um, to just show that, like him, because he just wants he wants to start training and stuff. So I put some of his stuff in. If anyone wants to give him tips better than I can give him tips, feel free to comment and just enjoy the video. Don't don't forget to use code JGriffin10 in the link in the bio uh, description. Sorry, don't forget to follow socials. A new video came out yesterday. Uh, Call this on Tuesday, so yesterday on Monday. If you haven't watched it already, go have a watch. It'll be in the description video that I think is a like as well, talking about my goals and a bit of motivation. And we've got a video coming out on Friday, which is just going to be like a... I'm going to get loads of clips over the next few days and put like a massive montage with a bit of motivation for it. My motivation, some of Thomas' motivations. It's a bit of everything in it. Just a little bit of a, like, four-minute little montage thing you can play in your playlist and just listen to in the gym. And then Monday, one of my pals sent an arm session, so that's going to be the video on Monday. I uh, haven't been as motivated, because I've been at stage schedule all over the place at the moment. So I'm trying to sort out, trying to sort me out, trying to sort everything out. So just, yeah, enjoy the video, and I will either record the outro at the end of this, but if I forget, I'll record it when I pull. So yeah, just enjoy the video, see you over bench press. This is just the warmer set, I did the bar, then 10, then I did 60, but I didn't record it. Then there's 70. These, these are just my warm-up sets. I thought 70 was going to be my top set because I felt weak last week, but then I went obviously 80 and then went 90 in the video, as you'll see. Uh, I normally do a set rep range. So I normally will do like six to eight sets with different reps, but when I'm with the lads, I just go heavy because they do. I didn't realise I got eight reps for 70, so I'm gonna, this will be my top set 80. And then... If 80 feels good, I might go for 90 again. I was feeling weak last week. I'm feeling a bit stronger the day. So I'm hoping I can get, if I get 80 for like three, four reps, and it feels easy, I'll go 90. But if not, this might be my top set. This is my last set, anyways. So wish my luck. Who would you be without me, Brian? Time to find out. I'm gonna give my eight you go. The twenty for you. Um trying to maintain my max at the moment. I feel do feel quite strong. But obviously I've got a whole other session left, so but I think it'd be nice. There's a, I normally have like a good set rep range when I'm doing like weight like bench press. When I buy myself, I normally do like six sets to like failure slash like eight to ten reps at like 70, 80, 70, 75. But when I'm with the lads, we'll just go heavy. That's why Pewie's putting on a hundred. I'm only going to go for one. Fucking hell, I'm hair down. I'm only going to go for one. I'm going to feel I'm going to fail, but I'm not going to feel like that. It's balls and bitch. Oh, 
I don't care about pain anymore. More important than pain is this impulse that's rising within me. I feel as though there's something violent boiling up from within. Let go. Let go of every pain. Let go. As you can see, I got 90. It was quite an easy lift. The leg drive was ridiculous. I've just put this clip in here to uh, show you me jump roll how well he's actually doing with bench press and every other lift. He's getting so much stronger. This is 110 he went for. He didn't get 120 because he didn't want to push for it. He said 110 was a bit of a struggle. But uh, he still got 110 and that's more than I can do. And it's just really impressive. He's younger than me. Uh, so it's just mad impressive. If you can, show him some love in the comments because it's mad impressive lift. I don't think I could do that. Not yet, anyways. Hopefully in the future, but yeah. Show him some love in the comments, etc. Uh, what I'll do is I'll put his uh, TikTok and his Instagram handle in the description as well, so you go give him a follow, etc. This is his normal incline dumbbell press. Uh, I don't do this as much as I used to. I used to be able to do 34s, because that's when I used to blast it. That's when I was a lot stronger, um, without the cutting. Uh... So yeah, I just did 22 for 10 reps uh, to warm up with, and then I went to 24s and did like 8 reps, and then went to 28, did 6, and then did 28 again for 4. And I do it in 10, 6, no, 10, 8, 6, 4, sorry. That's how I do my incline, and then uh, sometimes so I'll just do like 4 sets of 8, like within a super set. But uh, I do I do prefer incline to decline. That's the thing. This is my new chest exercise I've started doing. It's just on the bench, like just bench press, really. Like not obviously, like up, upright bench press for chest. Uh, it's amazing in my opinion. Trying to pinch the chest together and push it forward. And the pump I, th I get is ridiculous. I was trying to keep your elbows kind of up and like in a, a right angle shape so then you've still got that whole pressure coming through onto the chest really trying to pinch the chest together as if you were tensing it pushing it through and obviously contracting the top of your chest uh, I, d I don't do six sets until fairly of this the last one was just the, the first clip was warm but this was my last set this was it i think 14 kilo on this machine that feels fucking heavy as i would weird but uh Honestly, this on my new ch on my chest right now was ridiculous. Like I just love the pain, I love how hard it is, and I just love the pump I get. If you want something that's painful, try this. Honestly, it is an amazing exercise. It's helping me right now with chest as well. Uh, as you can see, it's it. I love the struggle at the same time. Like I always say, though, if you're not training hard enough, how do you expect to get results? Train hard, and keep training like a beast. Yeah, so this is, I also started doing decline flies to work my lower chest because I need to tone my lower chest up and it works. So I do four sets of 20, uh, sorry, no, five sets of 20 decline flies. But for the first two sets, I do it in a super set. So I'll do decline flies for about 20 reps, like just like normal anyways, and then switch it up and do decline uh dumbbell press for about 10 to 12 reps normally it just hurts uh, this on my lower chest is amazing really contracts the muscle like i prefer to put the bench quite low so i can still have quick control and then it's the same with flies it's just making sure you go not all the way far but kind of do it in a slow motion and make sure you still get that uh, stretch and you'll feel that stretch in your upper chest but also your lower chest and then when i bring it in my chest kind of pumps up it's brilliant exercise to do. Uh, if you try to tone lower chest up, I think this is perfect in my opinion. As well as you've got weighted dips, uh, press ups, etc. I need to start getting better at dips. At the moment, I can only do five. So this video wasn't perfect. I'll be honest today, um, but it was just a video I had to get out because I didn't want to let obviously people out want the videos out 
uh, down. So this is a little physique update. So this was recorded on Monday. This is my, what my physique is looking like at the start of the year. Um, obviously, uh, top's looking buggy. I'm looking a bit more refined, etc. Uh, still not where I want to be, but I'll, I'm going to get there. So this is what it looks like at the start of the year. A uh, bit, bit more defined. Back looks big, but it's just the torso, etc. As well as that. Um, I forgot to record an outro, so I'm just going to do a voiceover outro for this. Uh, like I say, I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a little bit rushed because it's, it's kind of hard to record when I'm with people. Um, I can't really talk to you, etc. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, put the bell notifications on so you, you know when I upload and... Don't forget to use code jgriffin10 in the link in the bio, uh, description, sorry. Follow the Instagram, TikTok, uh, add me on Snapchat if you want to have a bit of a closer uh, relationship and ask me any questions, etc. And I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. There'll be a video on Friday. It's going to be me talking to you. Uh, if you can't tell my voice, I'm quite ill at the moment, so I'm going to try and push to go to the gym anyways. But I will hope you enjoy the video.